What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Equalize Espresso and welcome back to another Black Ops 3 video here today on the channel. Today we're going to be talking about is something that may in fact be considered a little bit late here, being that we're already two months into the game's life cycle, a little bit thereafter actually. But this one, it was prompted by some recent playing and also a little bit of a rant that I saw over on Reddit. Today, we're going to be talking about the most overpowered perk within Black Ops 3. Now, without stringing along what could be a little monologue intro here for this, Hardwired is the perk that we're talking about today. A lot of you guys may know and love this perk. A lot of you guys may use it every single game that you play. I myself personally use it all the time, but while experimenting with some other classes, I have taken it off, and I've noticed that it is extremely worthy of that number one spot, that most OP class, because you can definitely feel an immediate change over in that as soon as you take it off. So I think to really firmly grasp how powerful this perk is, we have to take a look at the other stealth perks within Black Ops 3. Those being Blind Eye, Ghost, Cold Blooded, and Blast Suppressor, and then the fifth one being Hardwired. Obviously, they're spread about the different tiers of the perks themselves, but these all fall together in that stealth class set of the perks in Black Ops 3. So, Blind Eye makes you undetectable by enemy air support, except for the UAV and the Hater, which it's really nice for streaks. The Wraith is one that definitely bothers me if it's up in the air, but really, I don't see too many streaks up in the air that this is a necessity per se, and also it doesn't completely mask you because if there's a teammate next to you or close to you that isn't running it and the AI is targeting them, the air support can generally just still fall on you if you're in that, say, blast range of whatever it's in. Next, we have Ghost, which UAVs can't detect you. That's really the only thing that it does, and only if you're moving, unless you're in the process of controlling a streak or defusing a bomb. Otherwise, you have to be moving to use this. Cold-blooded, the enemy AI on the ground can't detect you, and you're also immune to thermals. And finally, Blast Suppressor doesn't emit any sound whenever the thruster is activated, and the thrusts are invisible on the radar. So, these are all fine and dandy, yes, but if you look at the majority of them, they're really one-trick ponies in which they protect you from one specific thing. But then you go over to Hardwired. It makes you immune to counter UAV, power cores, EMP grenades, the smoke screen's effect on your minimap, and it won't trigger trip mines, shock charges, the C4 alarm, and it also reduces the digital imprints of Tracker and completely masks against the effect of Sixth Sense. Now, just based off of the little things here that are mentioned and how many of them there are, that's extremely powerful. And then if you want to take a look at it a little bit more in depth, it's immune to power core. A 1400 score streak, this is actually one of the things that prompted me to make this video. I saw a rant of somebody over on Reddit talking about this, but it is completely immune to something that takes 1400 score to get a streak here for. 1400 points in this game is quite a bit to string together, and for this to be completely immune to it, that is ridiculously OP and something that is absolutely massive if you're trying to play the advantage. So once again, this is something that I'm sure a lot of you can consider late, but still to this day, and it's recently been patched since then so that Sixth Sense is completely masked against it, but this is still to this day, I think, the most powerful perk in Black Ops 3 and one that if you don't run it, I highly suggest that you do. Give it a shot because it definitely will help you out here. Here. So that's what we're gonna wrap this one up here today, ladies and gentlemen. I wanted to just bring this to you guys. It dawned on me a little bit while browsing Reddit a little bit here and playing a little bit differently in Black Ops 3 without it. It seriously puts into perspective how powerful this perk is and how much of a crucial crutch perk it can be at times if you're into the whole stealth thing here. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did like this video, be sure to like writing down below. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure that you subscribe. We're on that road to 25,000 subscribers. So thank you guys so much. Manas Mini Espresso. I will see you guys later. Take care and peace.